Mail time. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things and I'm bringing you guys a quick mail time video today because I'm heading out of town for the next like 12 days-ish. We don't have a whole lot of stuff that came to the P.O. box, but we have enough to make a quick video and we also have a sponsor today, the first sponsor of Stuff and Things, so we'll get into that in a second. For now, let's start it off nice and easy with a letter coming from Spencer out of Nebraska. I've seen a lot of comments on my EDC video. People are like, oh dude, you should still be carrying the Zero Tolerance 0804 CF. So I got this knife in my pocket today. Sweet, sweet blade. Ooh, this is another handwritten letter too. Hey Talon, I'm a big fan of yours and I've been watching your videos for a while now. I enjoy watching every day people talk about guns and other things that they're interested in. What really drew me into watching all of your videos besides firearms are the videos you have hanging out with your friends. They remind me of my friends so it's just enjoyable to watch. Shout out to them for having fun with the videos too. That is actually why I started this channel, just to kind of document all the dumb things that my friends and I do, and that's really like the core of stuff and things. So I'm glad that the firearms and some other content brought you here, but you're still sticking around for all the fun vlog type stuff. You were kind of the last girl to get me into taking videos of myself shooting and maybe eventually start vlogging on YouTube. Hopefully one of these days I can send you a patch or sticker of my logo. Keep up the good work, I'm excited to see where the channel goes. Spencer. P.S. Dave, you're my boy, Blue. Spencer. I appreciate it, man. I really enjoy reading handwritten letters. It's just a little bit more personable. So this is going in my pile of letters and I appreciate you sending something out. If you ever get stickers or patches of your logo or something, I better get one of those. Next up, we got one from, I'm not really sure where this is coming from to be honest. This one's got some weight to it. Hello, here are the details of this new generation bolt carrier group from Sharps. This isn't like a handwritten letter directly directed towards myself, but it looks like it's coming from Eric at the Sharps Rifle Company. Holy stickers, man. Oh, there are still more stickers in here. And some more. All right, Bolt Carrier Group. There you go, check this thing out. I've never heard of Sharps before, so I don't know much about this bolt carrier group, but it looks to be pretty damn high quality. There are so many manufacturers out there nowadays that they just pop up left and right, and I don't really keep my focus on stuff like that. I really only shoot for fun. I like building rifles and stuff like that, but I'll have to do a little bit more research on this. DLC coating fits standard AR-15, M16, M4, 223, 556, 300 blackout, of course. Lifetime warranty, no questions asked pop this thing out of here. Oh man, I love DLC coating. This would go great in the Atom Smasher if I didn't already have a nice bolt in there. Pretty much every single piece on the Atom Smasher is coated in a DLC type of coating, so this thing is feeling pretty slick. This is the Sharps Rifle Company Extreme Performance Bolt Carrier Group, machined from S7 Steel. DLC coating, 24 hour thermal cycle. All right, so it seems like a pretty good bolt. Maybe I should uh, throw this in one of my guns right now. Let's do it to my Radical Firearm seven and a half inch pistol build. The last time I shot this was the first ever branded Sunday gun day that I did. I sheared off the extractor of this bolt carrier group because it's just kind of a cheap bolt carrier group. I have since fixed it, but have not shot it since then. Here you can see the new extractor is in place, but this one is looking much nicer. Slide that in there. Boom, upgraded. I think I need to oil this thing a little bit, but you can see their logo peeking through there. I should probably do an update video on this gun because like I said, I haven't shot it much and I think the only other thing that I could do to this to make it a little bit nicer is throw a different trigger in here as well. So thank you to Eric from Sharps Rifle Company. I will be sure to test this out a little bit more in the future. I have a ton of stuff on my plate right now, so I'm not exactly sure when I'll be able to shoot this thing again, but hopefully the new bolt carrier group will have this thing shooting a little bit more reliably. Let's move on to the next one. We definitely have two electric skateboards here and both of the boxes are relatively small, not like a normal length longboard. So I guess we'll open one of them now. I'm gonna start with this one on the bottom here because it says Meepo on it. I did a review on one of the older Meepo boards and it was a great board, especially budget wise. So let's open this thing up and see what else they came out with. 
Oh man, check this thing out. Wow, that is a cool deck. All right, the first Meepo board that I checked out was obviously the version one, and I believe this is called the V2P for version two portable. It's got a little grab handle on the back here, and some of the components, they look fairly similar to the old one, but also a little bit different too, so maybe they have upgraded some stuff on here. 90 millimeter wheels, it looks like the hub motors in the back have new covers on them. Maybe they have actually changed them completely, but I just really like the whole deck size and shape of it, it's pretty unique. Got a bunch of stuff in the box, like a hanger that the previous one came with, a light, some tools, some new Allens in there. Not exactly sure what those are for. Some replacement bolts, cards, stickers, the charger in here, yup. And a new controller. One of my main complaints about the old Meepo was that they were using that sort of generic style controller. This is their V2 remote, so chances are I'm going to like this thing way more in both the deck size and the new controller. Little thumb scrolly wheel. I don't know if this is the standard battery or the upgraded Tesla battery. So for the base model, it says that this thing will do 25 miles an hour up to 17 miles. New swappable urethane on the rear hub motors, a new sealed waterproof coating box on the ESC. 16 pounds. Yeah, now that I read that, this thing is a little bit on the heavy side, but it still is fairly portable. Regen braking, easy swap batteries. I guess that's what the tools are for. 30% hill grade, four different riding modes. Seems like this thing might be promising, so I guess you guys will see a video dedicated to this board in the future. Thanks to Meepo for sending this out. I will definitely give you guys my thoughts on this on a video coming up soon. All right guys, now we have our first video sponsor. Yes. If you haven't cheated and already looked at the video description, then you're probably gonna be like, wait, they're sponsoring this video on your channel? That makes no sense, but hear me out. We all have our everyday grooming routines. I typically wake up, do the three S's, you know what I'm talking about. So I'll shower, shave, clean up the cheek lines and necklines and everything. And then I'll either put some stuff in my hair or just throw a hat on and pretty much go about my day after that. So no matter what your daily routine is, Dollar Shave Club, yes, that Dollar Shave Club has everything you need from toothpaste, body wash, razors, etc., to keep you looking, smelling, and feeling your best. I really can't believe they chose me to do this. Dollar Shave Club, I was like, come on, I mean, you see what I look like, right? So Dollar Shave Club is basically giving away this daily essential starter set for new members who sign up for only $5 after watching this video. So check this out. Now I've already opened this box and used some of this stuff so I could give you guys a good impression of how it actually is. This starter set features three trial size versions of their most popular products that help you stay fresh and clean along with their executive razor. Now in the past, I guess I was just making my life a little bit harder on myself by using a straight razor, and now after using this thing, I don't think I'm gonna go back to a traditional razor like that. A lot of you guys always ask for beard tips, and one of the main thing to keeping a healthy, professional looking beard is cleaning up the lines every now and then. A couple passes with the razor and then the detail blade on the other side, I think I'm looking pretty good now. In the first box, you will receive their shave butter, body wash, and one wipe Charlies. Hey, can we roll in B-roll of the one wipe Charlies? Demonetize. All right, yeah, I guess that makes sense. So you will also receive their executive razor with the premium weighted handle, as well as some cartridges for replacement. And then after the first box, replacement cartridges are sent for just a few bucks a month. This $5 offer is available at dollarshaveclub.com forward slash talentsci. That is dollarshaveclub.com forward slash talentsci. Check it out and I really appreciate Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. If you're a dude who uses products like this on the regular, it would really help me out if you guys went and checked out what they offer. They've got a ton of really good stuff on the site and it's actually stuff that I have used now so I can speak for it. Big thanks to Dollar Shave Club again for sponsoring this video. If you guys go and click that link, check out their site. It not only helps myself, out while helping them, but it helps YouTube content creators as a whole, and we are making the stuff that you guys hopefully are enjoying, so thanks again. All right, moving on to just two more packages today. This one is coming from Amazon Fulfillment out of California. Oh my god, dude. Who sent this? Please tell me there is a note in here. Sup Talon, since you enjoyed the crickets, I figured I'd send something else for you and the guys to test out and tell us how it is. From Andrew. Andrew is one of my subscribers over on Patreon, so dude, thank you very, very much for the support. But like, am I gonna get demonetized for this? Eat me, gummy, thong, and bra. 
Erotic playtime has never tasted so good. Delicious strawberry, one size fits all. Oh, dude, they even have nutritional facts on the back side of this. Intimate playtime just got even more deliciously fun with this delicious edible gummy thong and brawl. Put them on and eat them off for an edible, sexy experience that neither you nor your lover will soon forget. Oh my God, dude. Look at these. That is a lot of gummy, actually. I mean, you're not covering up a whole lot with those little triangles there, but 800 calories for a serving size of one box. 189 grams of carbs, 145 grams of sugar. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I even have one of these in my hand right now. All right, dude, well, I will save that for a future episode of Testies. Thanks for sending in something funny like this. I appreciate things like this. Andrew, you the man. Now we're moving on to the final skateboard, which I think is a skateboard because it's coming from China and a box shaped like this coming from China, nine times out of 10 is a skateboard. This one is a little bit lighter, so I should be able to open it right here on camera. Oh man, look at this thing. This is shiny. <laughs> look at this thing. So right off the bat, it feels and obviously looks like it's built on a penny nickel board. Obviously not the same plastic and there are electronics in here, so it's going to be uh, not as flexible. Let's check out what else it came with. A teeth tool, the charger. Now the deal breaker or maker is the remote. Ah, uh, yes, it is a good remote. This is a remote similar to the WowGo, I believe, and there might have been another one in the past, but I know that I do like this remote, so that's promising. This has me curious now. I gotta see if I can find some specs on this. All right, I found their site. It looks like this is the eFlow X2, two-wheel drive, dual hub motors, three ride modes, 17 miles per hour in the fast mode, 25% uh, incline rate, 6.2 miles, regenerative braking, IP65 rated, and coming in at just 10.8 pounds, so it is fairly light, especially compared to the other board I just opened. It seems like they may be on the modest side for their specs of this board, so hopefully that stays true. It seems like they are very specific. A lot of other board brands, if it gets to like 17 miles per hour, they'll just bump it up and say 20 and then they kind of fall short so we will see in the future if this thing does any good thank you to eflow for sending this out once it is not raining and i am back home hopefully we get some good weather so i can go out and ride this board all right guys that's it for this episode of mail time my place is once again destroyed so i gotta start cleaning this stuff up a big thank you again to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. Please go check out that link in the description down below. It will really help me out for making future content for you guys here on the channel. Thanks again to everyone who sent stuff in. If you want to send something for a future mail time video, I will leave the PO box in the description down below. And if you are new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe because I make new videos every week and that's gonna be all for today. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.